This video is mostly made for me because I hate making mistakes. Hey guys, I'm Shoma and I want to have the best possible life. And this channel is to document exactly what I have done and what I will be doing to achieve that, to achieve everything that I've ever wanted. So if that sounds good to you and you want to upgrade your life too to get everything that you want, please feel free to hit that subscribe button because there will be more of these videos coming to you every week, multiple times a week. So with that, Onto the video. So, mistakes are everywhere. They are inevitable. But mistakes can hurt us. People, generally speaking, really don't like making mistakes. Neither do I. I am physically afraid of making mistakes. In some cases, I'd rather hit myself than make a mistake. I would rather be in pain in physical pain than I would be in the mental pain of having made a mistake. But that is a very shallow way of looking at the world. And more importantly, you don't grow unless you make mistakes. So I'm here today to give you and myself, because I'm on this journey too, I still beat myself up for mistakes all the time, a lot more than I should have, but I am getting a lot better using the techniques I am about to mention in this here video. The first way, and this is going to be a bit cliche, but please bear with me, is that you can't make progress that is quick enough without making some mistakes along the way. Yes, you can make progress without making mistakes, but you're not learning fast enough unless you're making mistakes. What do I mean by that? Well, my dad, who was on the Hungarian hockey team, he said that you're not a good skater until you have fallen at least a thousand times. And that is very true. My very first year of skating, I did not fall a single time. And did I improve? No, I did not because I was always safe. I was always in my safety zone. However, as soon as I started taking slightly bigger risks and, yes, failing by falling a couple times, I learned how to do so many more things in the same amount of time it took me to essentially move forward on ice. So that is the first mindset that I want you guys to take away from this, is you gotta love to learn to fail because when you're failing, that means you're pushing yourself and you're improving way quicker than you would otherwise. The next way that I'm using to learn to love to fail is what I call long-term thinking. To understand that, let me give you a quick story. About a week ago, I went on a little drive with my friend, and he happened to have a Tesla. Now, for those of you that don't know, some models, I'm not sure if all of them, their, their handles are flush to the side of the door. Now, me, having grown up with older cars where you have to reach into the handle and pull it like... A normal car door, I had no idea how to actually open it because when I went to pull the handle, I could not. Now, it took me about 20 seconds to actually figure out you have to push in the back so you can pull out the front and then the window comes down, you open the door, you get in the car and the window goes back up. And all of that was super embarrassing because it took me 20 minutes, 20 seconds to get in to a car. Now, why am I telling you this? I'm telling you this to demonstrate this principle, this principle of thinking long-term. Instead of me beating myself up because yes, this was a mistake. It was kind of an embarrassing mistake because I could not get into a car. Instead, what I thought was, well, I guess now I know how to get into a car, yay. So the next time I need to get into a car, into specifically this model of a Tesla, I will just be able to get into it. And lo and behold, about three days later, I actually happened to have another friend with a Tesla and we also went on a drive and he had the exact same flush door. Now, I, having already made the mistake and having thought long term saying, well, I've already made the mistake, I guess next time I won't have to, I got in the car, no problem, just fine. I can open car doors, I swear guys, I can. And my friend actually commented on it. He did tell me that there are some people that have problems with it because it is such an unusual design. Because I was able to think long term, I was able to then translate that mistake into actually success. That friend, my second friend, was kind of impressed because 
he did not think that I was gonna be able to get in because he knows the car that I drive does not have the same door. He knows I likely haven't actually been experienced to that. So what generalizations can we draw from this story? Well, the first one, and I think this is the most important one, is that I have friends with Teslas. That means I am important. The second thing that we can generalize from this is exactly this long-term thinking principle. So when you make a mistake, instead of going, grr, I made the mistake, celebrate the fact that you made the mistake because next time you won't have to make that same mistake. Next time you're gonna be good to go. You can get in the car, no problem. You can do whatever it is you're doing no problem. And those are the two things that I want you guys to take away from this video. To recap, you want to celebrate the fact that you made mistakes because that means that you've pushed yourself beyond your limit and you're going to be better next time. Also, you have to be thinking long term and not beating yourself up about those mistakes because then the next time you won't have to make them. Or if you do, the time after that you won't have to make that mistake, but that means you are learning and improving. And I mostly made this video for myself because I am just so bad at this. And that is all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider hitting that subscribe button if you found this useful, and I will see you in the next one.